Hello everyone. In this video, let's understand how to use Slack. We use Slack extensively in this course for all types of communication. Using Slack, you can discuss your doubts with your mentors and instructors in this course or you can directly chat with other students in this course. You can have group discussions, you can have all types of notifications at one place in the Slack. So as soon as you join our course, you will get an email from Slack like this. So notice the subject, Purple Lane has invited you to work with them in Slack. So you need to open this email and click on join now. It will redirect to a new web page where it will have multiple options for you to log in. Continue with Google, continue with Apple or continue with email. I suggest you to continue with email and don't go with Google or Apple, right? So you should also do the same. Click on continue with email and provide your full name. And you need to set a strong password here. All right. Now click on create account. Now it will redirect to this page. Here it will show purple lane and click on let's do it. Now it is asking you to choose few people in your team but you can skip this and click on I will do it later. Click on this. Now if you see there is a channel called doubts hyphen UI UX. All your queries related to this course be it installation problem or a doubt in assignment or anything related to the course you can post all your queries here in this channel and our mentors will monitor these queries and try to resolve your queries as soon as possible. And if you are coming from a college, you will see your college name here instead of doubts UI UX. The channel name will be your college name and all the doubts related to this course will be addressed in this channel only. Right? Now let me tell you how to use this channel effectively in order to get your questions resolved in a timely manner. Now let's say I am not able to download one of the assignments in this course. So I can simply post the query in this channel. I can just post this question here. If I want, I can also attach any images here. So if I click on this, I can attach an image. I'm just uploading some random pic okay it will also be uploaded here now one thing you should observe is I'm providing all the details about my query in this single post to this post itself you can attach images you can clearly explain everything about your query in this same post if you want to write in a new line you should just press shift and enter so that it will write in a new line so I'm giving some more information that I try to download from Purple Lane desktop app. So I am providing more information about this in this single post. Right? Now if I click on this button, it will post to this channel. As soon as you post this channel, someone from our team will answer this query. So here I have got a reply from the chief instructor itself. So when I click on this, so what he says is, please download from here. So he has provided me this solution. Now I can go to this link and download the assignment two files. Now since this has resolved your issue, you can acknowledge this by saying thank you sir for providing me this link and you can write here itself within this thread 
so that all this chart will be under one place right now you can say like this and you can react with your emojis and all you can click on this emoji icon to add your reactions all right internally what happens is our team will review your question and suggested solution and see if this question is really addressed or not once this question is solved they will put a tick mark for this indicating that this question has been answered successfully right now you can see this as completed purple line has marked this question as complete so this is the procedure that we follow for answering your questions if you see here the question and the replies will be in the same thread so here is the question and the discussion related to this question happens within this thread so if you click on this thread it will show all the discussion happened around this question right so this is the procedure that we need to follow for solving your questions right now generally when you register for ui ux course you will see doubts ui ux channel in which all these discussions happen and whenever you come from a college you will see your college name here so for example if you are from aditya engineering college you will see aditya college and that channel will be used for all these types of communication all right and here we can also do direct messages like if you click on plus icon here it will show this window where you can type names of the members who are in this workspace so let's say i want to talk to the instructor directly so i can just type bhavani prasad and i can start writing to him so this is like a direct message which is not group discussion right hi sir so you will be communicating with this person itself so this is how you can use channels and direct messages of slack so far we have seen how to use slack on web browser slack also provides us with desktop app for windows and mac mobile app for android and ios now let's see how to download and install these desktop and mobile apps on your machines now what you can do is you can go to google.com and search for slack download it will show up this page where you have windows download click on this if you are on windows you can download this particular file which is here since i am using mac i'll scroll down a bit and here i can see download slack for mac now i'm clicking on this it will download now let me install this slack on my mac machine click on this i need to drag in apple it is installing now the installation instructions for windows is a bit different you just need to double click on the file which is downloaded on your windows machine and make sure you are downloading the right file for your windows so let me go back for my windows so what i'm saying is here you have download for 64 bit if your machine is 32 bit there is this option also download 32 bit app or download 64 bit app based on your machine architecture you need to select the correct one generally whoever is using windows 10 they would have 64 bit machine so they can download 64 bit app right now i have installed the slack app for mac os let me open that it will show something like this click on sign into slack now you need to provide the email id to which the invitation has come so this is the email id which i got the invitation for so i'll click on sign in with email it will send you a notification to this email go back to that email yeah this is the confirmation code you just copy this and 
paste it here that will redirect to the slack app where it will open your account in the desktop itself from now on you don't need to go to the web browser and open slack app you can just open your desktop app and communicate from there itself along with this we have slack application for android and ios also now to install slack mobile app for android you can just go to google play store and search for slack mobile app there you can install and log in with your registered email id i would suggest you to install both desktop app and mobile app and one more important thing is to enable notifications so let me go back to the slack and here to enable notifications for any channel i need to go to the top where it shows the channel details click on this it will have get notifications click on this you can choose when do you want to be notified so i would suggest everyone to click on all messages so that it will give you notifications whenever there is a new message this should be done on both desktop app and your mobile app even in your mobile app you just click on the channel name and you will get the details there you will find notifications icon so there you can enable your notifications right and remember if you are coming from a college like aditya engineering college you will have the name of your college here in place of doubts uiux you will have aditya college where all these types of communication will happen